Se hacía llamar la dama del silencio. Someone was killing elderly women in Mexico, strangling them with a stethoscope. Sus víctimas fueron ancianas que vivían solas. Se hacía pasar por enfermera. This is the very first time in Mexican history that police named and profile a serial killer. Nickname El Mataviejitas. This means the little old lady killer. La asesina serial cometió por lo menos 11 asesinatos. My name is Susana Vargas Cervantes and I wrote The Little Old Lady Killer, The Sensationalized Crimes of Mexico's First Female Serial Killer. Grandmothers are thought as grandmothers of the nation. There is a character in the golden era of Mexican films. Her name is Sara Garcia. She is an old lady, like I'm sure you've seen her because she is the face of the chocolate Nestle. And like chocolate, grandmothers are warm and sweet and they provide a lot of comfort. This grandmother of the nation is what was being killed. And this is what brought the nation into crisis. It is because they were elderly women that police deploy a whole task force to find this specific serial killer. Police came up with a profile of the little old lady killer. They were looking initially for a man, even though witnesses kept on saying that she was a woman that was wearing a wig, that had makeup, but they couldn't conceptualize of a female serial killer. Police then thought it must be a transvestite. So they went in October of 2005 and arrested many transvestite sex workers. And after none of them matched their fingerprints, they concluded, okay, it's not a transvestite, but we're sure it's a transgender person. The profile called to mind the fictional killers in Psycho and Silence of the Lambs. But the police were mistaken. A break in the case happened by accident in early 2006. A renter was coming home when he saw another woman that she was exiting the house and after he saw his landlady lying on the floor, strangled dead, he started chasing this other woman that he had just seen exiting the house, crying out for help from police and two police officers that were patrolling the area chased these women and when they caught her, they said, this is the serial killer we had been struggling to find. The person the police caught defied their profile of a serial killer. Her name was Juana Barraza. Juana Barraza is a professional Lucha Libre wrestler that has been profiled as the very first female serial killer of elderly women in Mexico City. Before she was arrested, Juana Barraza had an unusual claim to fame. She was a professional wrestler in the Lucha Libre tradition. Her name, La Dama del Silencio, or the Lady of Silence. Lucha Libre is a mix between a sport and a spectacle that has been very popular in Mexico since the 1930s. She had a persona that had a Power Ranger-like suit with silver knee boots and a butterfly mask, also silvered and pink. Just one week before she was arrested and named the old lady killer, she appeared on national TV giving an interview saying that she was a fan of Lucha Libre and that she was a root from the bottom of her heart. Ruda o técnica. Ruda de corazón. Ruda wrestlers are characterized by their rawness, their lack of technique, and the supposedly dirty tricks they play in the ring. Police and media retroactively built a profile around Juana Barraza. They said her somewhat masculine appearance and her wrestling background helped prove that she was a serial killer, capable of killing elderly women. And she became a celebrity of sorts. As soon as 
Juana Barraza was determined to be the little old lady killer. There was songs made to her case. A novel written, like innumerable news media reports. She became a species that had to be studied. It gave media and popular culture a perfect, sensational story. Justice was swift for Juana Barraza. She has confessed to one murder, that is the one that she was caught red-handed for, and she's been sentenced to other 16. There are still more than 30 homicides against elderly women that we don't know who killed them. Juana Barraza was sentenced to 759 years in prison. I think that the long sentence that is the largest one for any murder in Mexico City speaks to Juana Barraza being criminalized for how she looks, for looking masculine, for being very muscular and robust, for being a wrestler, but she has not been made responsible for the killings. And there is a big difference between what you are and what you do. I argue that Juana Barraza is being punished and stigmatized and criminalized for what she is.